Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Sandra and I work for the Boys and Girls Club uh, of LA Harbor. And this week we are celebrating Memorial Day. And because of that, we are going to focus on a pop art, an art movement that started back in 1950s. It was a time when artists saw art in a very unique way. We're going to talk about this famous artist that this year he will be 100 years old. Uh, we're proud to say also that he's still alive. He lived in, um, in San Francisco. He was born in 1920 in Mesa, Arizona. He worked in a restaurant. I think that's where he started getting his inspirations uh, about food because he's famous for that. He's famous for uh, illustrating and painting uh, food. Some of his famous Paintings are uh, from ice creams, cakes, donuts, pies, mm -hmm. and and all the common things that you find in uh, daily life. We're going to recreate the ice cream cones, a donut, and a cake. Okay, because who doesn't like cake? What we need for this is a cereal box. You can use also cardboard, or it doesn't have to be too thick. This, I made a template for you that it will be posted in, the, in this video too, so you guys can, uh, can actually use it as an example. We're going to use tissue paper. We're going to use liquid glue, water, because we're going to dilute it. We're going to add water, so it will be more easy to use. Scissors, if you have sequins, Keep in mind that today we're going to go over a few elements of art. We're going to use it. Line, shape, uh, color, and texture. Because this is all about texture if you feel. Okay, if you see it, and then you're going to feel it when you do it. Mm -hmm. Now, I have previously made your, okay, this. This is 18, 18 inches long and five inches wide. It should be six and a half, six and a half. And this one right here in, in the middle should be five inches. Okay, it's like okay, here you go now this one I have already started and what I did here I I use glue again add water little by little it depends and this is the part that it needs to be white we need to keep in mind this is a piece of cake okay then for that inside we're gonna see the color of the bread and then the filling then these parts are going to be different but this part right here on the top and this part, they need to be white. Now, something that, another thing that you guys, another item that you can use to replace tissue paper can be napkins. If it happens that you have napkins at home the color napkins then you guys feel free to use it now here this um when it's dry you can you can you can work like that because it's still wet um, i just add a glue or you can let it dry uh, either with the um, hair dryer or just put it outside then you can use the pencil and find where you want to stop so you can show where your bread is and where your filling is okay i don't know if you can notice i'm kind of carving the line here and i'm going and try to go okay other side i know you don't see it but i kind of i kind of know now mm -hmm. And then this is, remember, we're not gonna work on this. 
see because it needs to remain white and then we're going to do the same thing dries if the, it will go away yeah. you might be asking yourself oh but is the glue is all over Sandra yeah it will go away mm -hmm. here right here mm -hmm. now right here on the top I'm on my cake I think it's vanilla chocolate that's what I'm thinking okay then um, but in the top I might want some kind of Creamy uh, pink. This part now, but I want I want some cherry crumble. Stay here. Here you go. This this will be another cake. And now I want to show you how to make an ice cream. We need brown piece of paper. Go going back to lines. Then for that. Then we just need to go in the opposite direction. Then we're going to turn our paper on the other side and then we're going to wrap our cup like this. Now we're going to hold it tight. Then right now we just locate, okay, to fill the bottom of the cup and tie it. Just for now, like this, and glue it. Once it's glued, then you can push this all the way to the bottom. And then you see the extra paper. Get scissors and cut it around. Okay, now what we're gonna need is to crumble the paper. We need to make it like a, a little bit full. I didn't went too strong, I just saw. Okay, don't put too much pressure. Make it fluffy. It needs to be fluffy and I put it inside. We need tape. And then we're gonna set all this inside. A little, a little bowl. I use glue. I place it right on the top. You can also decorate it like this. See, I use a marker, and also to decorate, you can use this sequence. And my last thing that I want to show you is how to make a donut with just lunch bags. Then we don't need this part. And here, we're going to grab tape. Make sure that it's 
connected. Oh, here we just need to open one side, slice it. There we go. Okay, to have a, a, a good size, then uh, my recommendation is to set your donut. Because it doesn't have to be perfect, you just need some uh, uh, circle. The, 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 the cream inside, it looks like this. Mm, it's perfect. <laughs> but then, if you think that it's too big, then you can always what you can adjust. Remember, you are the artist, then you can, you can, you are the the ones to decide it, how do you want it. If it's too much or or if it's okay, but always go in a cool way. Then here, I'm gonna add glue. Mm -hmm. Glue it. Then you can also, some people like more sprinkles. Chocolate sprinkles too, on top of the chocolate. You can go like this. And again, you can use some of this uh, sequence. Play with the colors, make it colorful. So it will be more attractive to you. Mm -hmm. And you can always give this as a gift too. And the glue will go away. Then don't don't worry about it. Don't think that it's gonna stay there. You can keep adding more. Sorry, it was too much. And here is one that I did previously. Mm -hmm. And then, so this will be our lesson plan for this amazing artist that was part of a movement that. That was very full of color, and that they found um, inspiration in common items of daily life. Uh, he has a, a there is a museum. Um, I think I have said it, but if you know, it's good for me to, to say it again. Uh, they have a museum in San Francisco. Uh, the is the SF MoMA, San Francisco Museum of uh, Modern Art. In, in which they have his amazing work and he was amazing work so check it out and uh, have fun making this okay what you guys need is always a way to make art mm -hmm. well and uh, um, and again I will see you next week I hope you like us subscribe uh, send me I would like you to send me your um, projects and it would be very nice for us to see how, how you guys are enjoying doing this project. Okay. And then again, have fun and I'll see you next time.